Hey, welcome. Today we're here in beautiful Bird Rock, La Jolla, Calumet Park with some awesome yogis. We're going to do a little chakra balancing flow, probably about 40 to 45 minutes, so follow along as best you can. And feel free to break this up in little pieces. We'll try and get through each one. If you're not super familiar with chakras, they're energy wheels or energy centers in your body. They correspond with physical stuff as well as mental and emotional stuff. They have colors, different characteristics. Um, so we've got some great colors here going on. And um, any requests for chakra stuff that you guys want to work on? James has one, yep. Your throat chakra. Yeah, so he's got the blue, the blue guys next to him, which is perfect. We'll definitely work on that. Um, heart, yeah, you're working on your green mat, so perfect. Yeah, we'll go through all of them, start from the bottom, work our way up, spend a little bit of time on each one. Um, and yeah, and then we can go back and do some more breakdowns later on. You guys ready? Cool. We're gonna start seated, so any comfortable seated position is great. Legs crossed in front of you, legs extended, sit on your feet if that's good. If you can, try and get your butt toward the ground. So wherever you're comfortable there. Yeah, close your eyes, find a nice, really tall spine. And just begin to connect to your body. Notice how you're feeling today. If there's any areas of achiness, tightness, or extra openness. Notice where your mind wants to drift, what you're thinking about. And begin to notice your breath. So our breath is a really awesome way to connect our body, our mind, kind of loop everything back together. And if it's comfortable, we'll breathe in and out of your nose, creating a nice, strong, ujjayi, victorious breath. And there's a reason we started seating. You're seated, you're connected to the earth. So see if you can find that connection, your butt, your legs, maybe the base of your spine. And imagine as you breathe that you're drawing energy up from the earth, up through your col spinal column to the crown of your head. And as you exhale, that that energy is cascading down your back, creating a loop. So inhale, pulling energy up. Exhale, letting it cascade down your back. I love practicing outside, hearing the waves, being on the earth, feeling the sun. This is a really great way to connect with your root, connect with the earth. Once you've found a rhythm with your breath, maybe imagine the color red, a glowing ball of energy, the base of your spine. Our root chakra is associated with stability, with security, a sense of home or groundedness. So those words bring up anything for you, just notice what that is. On your next inhale, open your eyes, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, bring your palms together in front of your heart. We'll do two more like that. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, palms together, draw the energy down to your heart. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Find your way to a tabletop. So ladies, you can roll over your feet and Justin. James can kind of crawl forward. And just feel what the earth feels like underneath you here. Feel free to move around, spread your fingers, rock into your knees. Your legs are a really big sense of your connection to your earth, your stability, groundedness. So what's happening in your legs today? And then find your way to a downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips. And feel free to move around in down dog. Pedal out your feet. Nice, John. Relax your head. Notice how down dog feels. It might be your first one of the day. It might be like your 27th if you're doing a lot of yoga. Every time may feel a little bit different. That's great. Take an inhale, bend your knees, look forward. And exhale, step or hop your feet toward your hands. Lift halfway up, hands to your shins, reach your chest forward. Exhale, fold, relax your head and your neck. 
Rise to standing, reach your arms to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. And then let your hands release by your side, palms facing forward. Feel free to adjust your feet. So we'll find a nice comfortable stance here. You can also close your eyes. And then again, feel that connection to the earth, your roots, strong through your legs. If you like to rock forward and back or side to side between feet. Standing and balancing poses are really good for that connection to the earth. And not really coincidentally, we start our practice with a lot of standing, moving poses, some warrior poses that's gonna get into your root as well as your hips or your sacral chakra. So we'll start to work into those. You can keep your eyes closed or open them. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips. Nice, slow, forward fold. Feel free to bend your knees. Halfway lift, breathe in, roll your shoulders out of your ears. Beautiful, exhale, fold, relax your head and your neck down. Rise to standing, arms float up to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Two more like that, half sun salutes, just to get some warmth and some movement. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, navel to spine. Halfway lift, breathe in, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, fold, relax your head and your neck down. Rise to standing, arms float high, breathe in. Exhale, palms together in front of your chest. One more, move with your breath and really feel the connection to the earth. Inhale, reach. Exhale, dive forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, relax everything down. Stand tall, arms to the sky. Big inhale takes you up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Shift your weight toward your left foot and bring your right foot up for a tree pose. So starting to create that root, literally in our little tree through one foot. Right foot, wherever it feels comfortable. So you might even start with your toes on the ground. You guys are pretty great. So foot can come to your thigh or calf, beautiful. And then feel the rootedness. So imagine you're a tree and you've got roots coming down through your foot into the ground. You can visualize little tendrils of roots. They work their way all the way up your body. So you're nice and steady, strong. And then maybe begin to notice other parts of your body. What are your hips talking, talking to you? What are they saying? Your core, your shoulders. What's your breath like again? And your next inhale, extend your right leg in front. You can hover it above the ground. Exhale to a warrior three. Send your foot back and your chest forward. Again, keeping your root nice and strong. And it's okay if it falls or if you tumble a little to one side, just noticing that. We'll start to pull in our navel chakra, navel to spine. Use your core, find that strength connection. Beautiful, one more breath in. Exhale, release your hands down, step your right foot all the way back and drop your right knee down toward the ground. So now we'll start to get into our hips a little bit, our sacral chakra, our low back. Hands can come to your thigh or reach up to the sky. And just find a little bit of movement, some dynamic presses forward, lifting back out. Just as your breath is constantly moving, let your body flow, some energy flow into your hips, into your low back, your low belly. Your sacral chakra, is associated with the color orange, with a sense of creativity, creation, relationships. A lot of us have low back stuff, hip stuff, and it's really no surprise, because this is an area we're not often accessing really well or spending a lot of time with. So we'll go back to our sacral chakra a ton. Yeah, reach your arms to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, release your hands down to the ground. Tuck your back toes under, lift your knee, and then pivot your right heel flat. We're gonna open up for warrior two. You can inhale, open up, and exhale, begin to settle in. So front heel traditionally in line with your back heel. Find your root again, the sense of grounding through your feet, and then notice what's happening in your hips here. Yeah, you can always move around, come in and out. 
Imagine sending your breath into your hips and imagine a glowing ball of orange energy hovering there between your hip bones, around your low back, your sacrum. Really nice. Keep your legs the same. Next inhale, reverse warrior, stretch it up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Step back to a high plank, upper push up, and hold here. Find a sense of groundedness through our hands. We can pull these into our root chakra. Often they're associated with our heart chakra, but we'll feel that connection to the earth. Take a little shift forward, breathe in. Exhale, chaturanga like a tricep push up, either halfway or all the way to your belly. Inhale, up dog, slide your heart forward, roll your shoulders back, getting a little into our heart chakra. Exhale to downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Again, take any movements, so feel what's different here. Move around as you need to, beautiful, bend your knees. And you totally don't have to, right? So feel free to find stillness, that might be nice and relaxing. Take an inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step or hop toward your hands. Halfway lift, breathe in, send your chest forward, really long spine. Exhale, fold, release your head and your neck. Rise to standing, arms to the sky. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Shift your weight to your right foot and bring your left foot up for your tree pose. So again, connecting to your root, your sense of stability. This time maybe noticing your hips a little bit more and starting to notice your core, your navel chakra, how it lifts and helps you find stability. So they all work together. Steady eyes and breath usually help with balance. Take one more inhale and exhale. Inhale, hover your left leg out in front. And exhale, send it back toward your warrior three. Chest forward, find a little balance. Recruit your core. See if you can drop your left hip. We'll take just one more breath in. And then exhale, hands down, step your left foot back and lower your left knee all the way down to the ground. Same thing as we did on the other side. Hands can come to your thigh, to the sky. Feel free to explore a little bit. Might be different on one side. Notice what your hips are saying, your low back, your low belly. Yeah, it's no surprise. Sarah wants to get into her shoulders, right? Get into her heart a little bit. So that's beautiful. Listen to your body, what's comfortable and natural. It's all good. <laughs> Always reconnecting to your breath. We'll take one more breath in. Exhale, release your hands down. Lift your back knee, take an inhale. Exhale, pivot your back heel flat. And inhale, rise up to your warrior two. And exhale, settle in. Again, finding whatever movement is comfortable, whatever adjustments you need. And then starting from the ground up, what do you notice about your legs, your roots? What's happening with your hips? What's happening with your belly button, your core, your shoulders? your legs really strong. Inhale, reverse warrior. Stretch it up and back. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to your mat. Step back to your high plank upper push up. We're going to hold high plank upper push up. Lift your belly button to your spine. Your navel chakra is associated with the color yellow. So imagine a yellow ball of energy really helping to keep you nice and strong and lifted. Your core is your powerhouse, your center of drive. If you start to shake, that's great. We're challenging it a little bit. <laughs> Take an inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in like your tricep push-up. Up dog or cobra, 
Open up through your chest, shoulders back, get into your heart. Exhale to downward facing dog. Again, move around. Starting to maybe find some more space where you've been tight. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. Step or hop your feet outside your wrists. So we'll take it into a little squat. Heels in, toes out, get nice and low for your malasana. Hands can come to your heart if that's comfortable. Yeah, and then feel free to move around. So for me, my hips are really creaky. We're really getting into our hips, low back, sacral chakra here. Especially if it's early in your day, in your movement. Move around as much as you need. Imagine your spinal column growing really long. The chakras are lined up, kind of stacked up along the shishuma. So see if you can imagine this long line of energy from your tailbone to the crown of your head again, almost like a lightning bolt, straight up and down. Lift your belly button to your spine. Beautiful, one more inhale. And then exhale, release to a seat on your bottom. Bring the soles of your feet together, open your knees out wide. Hobbler's pose or Baddha Konasana, lift your heart, take a breath in. Exhale, hinge forward. Find maybe a little bit more space through your inner thighs, your hips, your low back. Feel free to relax your head if that feels good. And then check in, where can you send more breath, more energy, more space? Begin to lift your chest, draw your knees in. Place your feet on the ground or on your mat in front of you. Hands behind your knees. We'll take it into a little boat pose, really recruiting our navel chakra. Suck your belly button up and in, lift your heart, and then float your feet out in front of you. So if you start to shake, if it's too much, you can always tap your toes down. You guys are pretty strong, so if you want arms out wide, feel free to reach them wide, or even up to the sky, legs straight for even more. Yeah, notice the shaking, breathe into it. See if you can engage even more. We're usually stronger than we think, right? So tap into that internal drive, the tapas, the power that's right in your core, so good. Two more. One more. Beautiful, really, sit down. Yeah, feet down, knees to the sky. Bring your hands behind you. I like my fingers pointing toward me. Some people prefer away, depending on your wrists. We'll just take a little counter stretch for that. So press into your hands and your feet, reverse tabletop. See if you can lift your hips, breathe into your hips, breathe into your belly, breathe into your chest, starting to get into our heart chakra for Sarah over there, and then gently lower down. So we'll play with this a little bit. As you inhale, you're gonna press into your feet and your hands lift. And then as you exhale, either tap your bottom to the ground, or if you're feeling pretty strong through your core, you can swing your bottom between your hands, come onto your heels, round a little bit through your spine and see if you can hover. Yeah, lots of core, beginning to get into our shoulders too. So inhale to lift. Exhale to lower or swing your butt between your hands. You guys are awesome. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Maybe someone wants to take my challenge, one leg up, then the other, breathe, breathe, breathe. Oh, James has got it, yes! <laughs> Excellent, find your way back to hands and knees. <laughs> That's a fun one to work towards. And just move around, however feels natural or comfortable. Yeah, so you might feel like you want to do cow and cat. Re-neutralize your spine. Flexing, extending, arching and rounding. You might feel like you want a wrist stretch. Beautiful, yes. Getting into your heart chakra through your hands, your wrists, your shoulders. So our yoga practice is our movements, our breath, our meditation, but my favorite part of it is that awareness, that connection to your own body, what's happening. Yeah, beautiful, so feel free to explore a little bit.
We're going to play off of this a little bit where you guys are going, which is great. Find your tabletop hands and knees, and we'll take it into a little puppy pose. Keep your butt really high, crawl your hands in front, and begin to drop your chin or your chest to the ground. So for some of us, it's going to get really close. Others, not so close. That's cool. We're getting into our heart right where you think it is, the center of your chest, but also the center of your back, upper back. It extends through your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your fingers, your sense of connection to others, love, compassion for others, and most importantly for yourself, imagine a purple, uh, excuse me, a green ball of energy hovering around your heart. If pink feels better for you, you can imagine it pink. And then gently begin to press back to a regular child's pose, but all the way toward your heels. And you can let your forehead relax to your mat. Beginning to get into your third eye just a little bit. So it's funny how it's all connected, right? You open up one, it moves into the other. Keep breathing. And then find your way back to hands and knees. And we'll come to stand on our knees. So we're on the grass, it's pretty soft here. If you're at home on a wood floor or something, you can always wrap a towel or double over your mat if your knees are sensitive. Reach your arms kind of in front, sort of out to the sides. We'll take eagle arms, right arm below your left. You can hold onto your shoulders, or if they reach, you can connect your hands. So think of your elbows crossing. And then I like to do some little baby back bends here. Inhale to lift. Exhale, elbows in toward your belly and round a little bit forward. You can even touch your fingers toward the ground or let gravity help you. And just kind of move like that. If it feels comfortable, inhale, lift, slight back bends, really stretching out between your shoulder blades, rounding forward. Couple more times, getting into that nice heart chakra. If there's a spot that feels good, you can hold it there. You can even come to a seat on your butt, rock side to side, hold forward, yeah, hold back. Explore a little bit where you're tight, where you can spend some more time. Excellent. Gently release. Hands by your sides. Lift your shoulders to your ears. Take a breath in. Exhale. Roll your shoulders down your back. Two more. Inhale to lift. Exhale. Release. One more time. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. So arms can reach in front slightly out. Switch. Left arm below your right or whichever side you didn't do. Shoulders or hands. And then same things. Little back bends. Rounding forward as you exhale. Finding a rhythm that works for you with your body. Staying wherever you feel like you need a little bit more time, a little bit more energy, so good. Yeah, side to side is always really nice. Even drawing circles with your elbows in both directions. Excellent. And release it down as you're ready for it. Same thing a couple times, maybe three. Lift your shoulders, relax them down your back. And then we'll move into a modified side plank, but facing forward, so sort of like we're taking a gate pose, if you're familiar with that. Kind of lean to your right, we'll probably stagger, I'll come back. Lean to your right, step your left foot out, and then reach your left arm over your head. Yes, really nice. Feel the long line of energy, so find that connection. Again, we're gonna work from the bottom all the way up, your root, your foot, toward the base of your spine. Feel your hips, your low back, your belly. Find a nice openness through your chest, extend through your arm, and then if it's comfortable for you, see if you can float your left foot off the ground, and without kicking your neighbor in the face, bend your knee, reach back to find your foot, 
Yeah, and then you can kick your foot back, press your hips and your chest forward, a little baby back bend here without putting a ton of weight anywhere. Yeah, creating a sense of openness. So good. And slowly release. Watch your neighbor. <laughs> we'll take it to the other side. So you can tuck your left knee under. Extend your right foot out and gently lower your left fingertips toward the ground. So stagger as needed. Left arm over your head. First find your length. Yeah, and then work your way from your foot to your fingertips. Draw that awareness through your body. Where can you breathe? Open up. Maybe even bring your hand all the way up here. Let's see what that feels like. Yeah, and then begin to float your foot. Bend your knee, find your foot. Excellent, kick back and open up. Maybe notice where you feel it the most. Maybe that's the chakra you wanna send some energy to or the color you wanna imagine. Red for root, orange for your hips, yellow for your belly, green for your heart and you can gently release. We'll take it to child's pose. So however you like to get there, knees can be together or wide. Big toes touch, relax your forehead down. And again, now we'll get to our third eye. Between your eyebrows, center of intuition, your wisdom, intellect. Before we spend a ton of time, we'll get into our throat. Walk your hands back in. Find a comfortable seat. If this is okay for you, you can stay with your butt on your feet or you can sit between. If you'd rather be on your butt with your legs extended, be my guest. So we'll just take some gentle little neck circles to get into our throat chakra. This one's for James, the color blue. You can tuck your chin toward your chest. Move your head a little to one side, ear to shoulder, and then to the other side. Feeling a little bit of compression there through your neck. Your throat chakra is associated with the color blue. Your center of communication, expression. Sometimes we think we have a blockage in our throat and really it's our self power or expression through our navel chakra that's not allowing us to express or talk what we need to. So just notice here how your neck feels, how your throat feels. If it's okay for you and you can still breathe, you can lift your chin and begin to roll your shoulders back and begin to open up through your throat like you're looking to the sky. I don't like to drop mine too far back, but find where it's comfortable for you, yeah. And see if you can keep breathing, what that feels like. Just as we got into our shoulders and our heart, you can take your hands behind your back as you do this if it feels good. Interlace your fingers. Work your shoulders and your heart chakra as well as your throat chakra. Begin to lift your chin, breathe. If something else comes up, there's another part of your body that's talking to you or you need to move, by all means, please do or notice that. Our body's really good at giving us feedback. We're often not very good at listening. Beautiful. You can come back toward neutral. Hands in your heart or in your lap. Just close your eyes and take a moment to again imagine that you're drawing energy from the earth, maybe through your feet, through your bottom if it's touching, all the way up your spine to the crown of your head. And then watch that energy flow down your back as you exhale. So we had red for our root, your legs, the base of your spine, orange for your sacral, your low belly between your hips, your low back, yellow for your navel chakra, your powerhouse, your core, lift your belly button, green for your heart, shoulders, arms, hands, blue for your throat, and then a purpley blue, dark purple indigo for your third eye. So imagine a ball of energy right between your eyebrows.
and we'll slowly walk back out to a child's pose and again rest your third eye on your mat. And if it's calling to you, you can take some little rocks side to side on your third eye and begin to massage that center of wisdom, intellect, intuition. Wrap your hands toward your feet. We're gonna move into a little bit of throat, third eye, and onto our crown. So if you can keep hold of your feet, lift your torso off your thighs, tuck your chin, yep, come onto the top of your head, little rabbit or hair, and begin to lift your butt off your feet and rock onto the top of your head. Yeah, so beautiful. You can even bring your head a little bit closer so you can tuck your chin, that's it. So some of us, it's gonna feel really comfortable, for others, not so much. So stretching out through your upper back, getting into the back of your heart chakra, the back of your throat chakra, your neck. Maybe a little bit of third eye sensation, and then the crown of your head, your crown chakra, your connection to the rest of the universe, to a higher power, consciousness, Slowly release back down. Take a moment in a child's pose, wherever is comfortable. Embryo variation is great too, hands back. And then find your way onto your back. Getting as comfortable as you can. So if there's something else you need to do, some movement. Yeah, notice where your body's talking to you. Beautiful, James has got a fish pose, getting into his throat, his heart, his core. Sarah's got a little twist going. That feels really good through your navel and heart chakra. There's a hip stretch, a little back bend, happy baby, beautiful low back for Jen, or nothing at all. You may feel good just laying and relaxing into the ground below you. Find your comfortable laying down position on your back. <clears throat> Take a really big breath in through your nose. Let it out through your mouth. One more big breath in. Let it out. And then we'll do a little meditation here on each of the chakras. Again, reviewing, reconnecting. If you know there's one that you still want to spend a little bit of time on and want to hover your meditation there a little bit longer or start there, feel free. Otherwise, bring your awareness to the base of your spine. And imagine the color red. So maybe that's a glowing ball of energy right there at the base of your spine. Think about something or someone that makes you feel safe at home. It could be a place, a thing, a feeling. Bring your awareness between your hip bones to your low belly, your low back, your sacral chakra. And imagine the color orange. Again, it might be a glowing ball of energy hovering there. Think about what makes you feel creative. If there's something you like to build or create, what it feels like when you've done that or when you're in the midst of it. And 
and bring your awareness just above your belly button, your solar plexus or navel. Imagine the color yellow, a glowing ball of energy hovering there. Think about what makes you feel powerful. Bring your awareness to your heart, the center of your chest and your upper back. Imagine green, a glowing ball of energy hovering there. And think about what makes you feel love. People in your life, places, connections. Bring your awareness to your throat. Imagine a turquoise blue like ocean water. A ball of energy hovering there. And think about how you best express yourself. Maybe it's verbally. You might be a writer, a DJ. Bring your awareness between your eyebrows to your third eye. <clears throat> Imagine a deep purpley blue indigo ball of energy hovering right there. Maybe think about a moment where your intuition guided you. You just knew something was right, something was wrong, where you had to listen to a feeling. And then bring your awareness to the crown of your head, your crown chakra, connection to the rest of the world, higher consciousness. And imagine a white light. It could be a ball of energy or even this cloud that surrounds you, protects you. Think about when or how you feel connected to something bigger than you, community, nature, Allow yourself to just float here, being present, still, peaceful. And notice if there's an area that your awareness wants to go back toward. Honor that, listen to it. Give yourself permission to be with it. Begin to take any little movements, any little wiggles or stretches that help your body wake back up. You can reach your arms over your head. Big good morning stretch. And then with your eyes closed, however you like to get there, it's often turning to one side. We're going to press to a comfortable seated position. Maybe back how you started, come full circle.
sit up tall. And just notice what your natural breath is like. Check in and notice how you feel now, physically, mentally, emotionally. And bring your palms together in front of your heart. We'll take a moment to bow our heads, honor the teacher within each of us. Namaste. Namaste. You guys feel okay? Awesome. Awesome. Yay, you're so welcome. Good job.